Linda Israel here and I have the scent of the day is strawberry kiwi these are soy wax melts and they have jewelry inside the candles and tarts this is one of the pieces of jewelry there's jewelry inside there if you're interested in this to help support me as an artist please go to my shop link in the description below Today I am working with Brutus Monroe stamps. This one is, and I'm not sure of the name, but I believe it's called Rockstar Pets. So it's got a really cute set here. It's got a little bulldog with earphones and it's got this hipster cat with glasses on it. So we're going to do a technique that I learned about because of CHA. And a competitor and what they were touting that their ink could do and I wanted to show what the Brutus Monroe ink can do. So this surface that I have here is one of the Ranger Craft sheets. It covers the whole desk here and I've got the Brutus Monroe Premium Chalk Ink which is going to be renamed as to be Surface Inks. That's the new name of them. And I'm going to take my ink and I'm going to do something that most people don't really know to do this. But I'm just going to smash it down onto the surface here in a couple of little swipes. I've got the ro Rouge and C and Zest here. And then I've got a spray bottle with just water in it. And I am just misting this a few times. I have some watercolor paper it is approximately let's see I think it's a hundred hundred and forty pound watercolor paper here's what I'm going to do I'm going to just pick up some of this color and let it go wherever it wants and then I'm going to dry it with my heat tool and I'll be right back so I dried that so that it wouldn't move anymore now that that's soaked into the paper. But I want to add more color. So I'm just going to rotate my paper just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more water. And I'm just going to pick up some more color in other places on my card. So I'm just picking up just a few other pieces here. Just adding color wherever I want. And then I'm going to heat set this one more time. Now I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. It's got a neat watercolor effect. So I'm going to clean up my surface here so I can move on to the next portion of my demo. I've got my Misty and I'm going to place my watercolor paper inside the Misty here. Place a couple of magnets so that it doesn't move on me. And I'm going to get my Rockstar Bulldog and peel him off the paper. I believe I want him, let's see, I want him right about here. And I want the Be Unique. And I want that right here in the corner. So I'm going to place another magnet down here. Move my magnets in. So I've got a good pick up my stamps and then I'm going to ink this with my Brutus Monroe detail ink. What I like about using the Misty stamp tool is that I can ink this up and because I am dealing with watercolor paper it will probably not be a good impression the first time. That's okay. I will just stamp it again until I get a good impression. So nope, it didn't come out very well because of the texture of the paper. So I'm just re-inking and I'm going to stamp one more time and see how it comes out. And let's do it one more and see if that gets it. I also like the fact that when I use a Misty that I can place several stamps on it at one time while I'm working and I don't have to keep repositioning. I think I'm going to do it one more time 
and I might be happy with it. All right, I think that looks good. I'm going to pull this off my mat. And I just clean my stamp, and then I'll put it away here in a moment. Set this out of the way. Now I've got a standard A2 size card that I'm going to mount this on. I think the last thing that I want to do, just to kind of give it a little definition, I'm going to take the Brutus Monroe Detail Ink and just go around the edge just to give it a little bit of definition. And then I'm going to use my white glue. And glue this down. You may use whatever type of adhesive that you prefer. I alternate with a couple of things, but my go-to is white glue because it's relatively inexpensive. And there, showing you a new technique and showing off the new Rockstar Pet stamp set from Brutus Monroe using the Brutus Monroe inks is a greeting card to tell you be unique. You don't have to be like everybody else. I hope you enjoyed this card. If you have any questions, please comment below in the description box has the link to Brutus Monroe and this stamp set and the inks that I use today. My blog post will have more details as well. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of those social media places. Again, thank you for your support. I really appreciate those of you that watch and give me a thumbs up and liking this video. Share it with your friends. And of course, like I said, comment below. Thanks again so much for watching today. Have a great day. And as Christopher likes to say, ah, I forgot this. I couldn't say it all of a sudden. I'm, there's a blooper. As Christopher likes to say, create your own ending. And as I like to say, aspire to be amazing. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.